All right, guys, welcome back. I've got all kinds of new hardware in, so let's get to putting some bits on this bike and making it look more like a motorcycle. I think I'm going to put the rear shocks on. I think I'll do that. I'll probably put the front mud guard on. And I think in this video as well, we will start building the rear swing arm spindle. That way we can get all of that together and get that on the bike as well. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I got this brand new stainless hardware in to mount the rear shocks. I've polished them up a bit and I'm just going to reuse the shocks that I had. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Let's see. There we go. There's that. Washer on the other end. And these came with nylock nuts. I don't know if you can see that. But I do like the idea of that. Is that on there standard? Yeah, here's the one that was on there before and it had a nylock nut on there as well. So now I just need to grab some hardware and tighten these down a little bit. They're not, they won't be fully tightened until we get our swing arm on there. But now they're just hanging and they'll look pretty for now. One less thing to put on the bike. All right, now we are fitting the side stand that mounts right here. So I've got my piece here. I've put the studs on. Now just put this through here. Like that. There we go. Then we've got brand new washers. Then I've got two nuts that go on there, right here. And these are going to go on the back. do those finger tight for now. The next thing is we have to put our side stand in there. Then we've got this that goes in between. The two snap rings that go on either side here. And this is going to be tricky because I had everything powder coated so the tolerances are a little too tight. So this is going to be tricky to work it on. Alright guys, I've got this side stand fitted. So I did have to knock off some of the powder coat in order to get this on there and get everything to clearance. But the side stand is on with the spring. The spring was difficult to get on there, needless to say. But I was able to get it on there. I've got the circlips here. Now I just need to tighten up the bolts back here holding the side stand to the frame. And then this will be done. All right, we have the swing arm here and we have all the new bits and pieces that we need to get this back together. We've got new bushings here. Here's the other one over here. We have new O-rings here and here's two. There's one over there. Um, I am reusing these pieces here. They're fine. I am reusing the end caps here, the rod here, and I've got a new swing arm spindle here. So the first thing I need to do is get these together. So we've got one bushing here, then the O-ring, and this is going to go in. I cleaned these up as the best that I could. They look, they're just old, but they're okay. There's no issues with this. I'm not finding any issues. I can't catch a finger on it. And this is just going to go in here like this. And then we need to press these bushings in to here. don't know if I'll be able to do these by hand. I might have to do these in a vise. I think I'm going to have to take this up and do this in my vise. So this is going to go like this. This here. And then that's going to go in that side. Well, I got that backwards, don't I? No. That's right. 
and then this will go here. I just need to, yeah, I need to press these in. I'm still waiting on my shop to be built, so I've got a press for my shop, but it's in a box in pieces. It doesn't do me much good right now like that, but I think a vise will be an appropriate tool to do the job. I can just get some jaws on either side, press this in nice and slowly. So I will do that and I will be right back. All right, as you can see, I've got both of my bushings in there. All I did was just press them in with a vise. I'm just going to check real quick. I've got a brand new spindle here. I'm just going to make sure this fits in here fine. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so I've got the swing arm mounted on the gearbox cradle right here. It was a bit difficult to get this on here and it did knock a little bit of the powder coat off because it was such a tight fit. But that's, it is what it is right now. So now I have to put this into here and line it up just right. Okay, so I've got my swing arm onto the holder here. Got some SAE 40 oil and try to coat the insides of these bushings with the oil to help try to get this spindle in here a little bit better. And I have these spindle in the freezer because it is a tight fit so hopefully I can make it fit a little bit better that way. So here's my new spindle freezing cold right now then here's my old one my old one was actually wrong it has that hole on the back end and it should be on the side like this one and so the holes on here wouldn't line up on that so now let's try to get it in there I'm going to see if I can't coat this with some oil too I think it's thick on this one it's cold I don't know if it's don't know if this will work let's try all right, I was able to get the spindle in there. It took some persuasion with a bit of a hammer. A hammer, then I just used the old one to hit against it. But it got in there and everything looks good. So now I just need to line it all up. And then put the caps back on with the O-rings and the rod that holds it through, and then fill it with oil and then I'll be able to mount this on the motorcycle. So, yeah, we're getting there a little bit at a time. All right, so I've got that bolt in and then the two on the bottom there, there you can see, those are in. I've got my O-ring in on this side. So I'll place this in, in here. So now I have to hold this into place, put a finger over this, flip this over, fill it up with oil, and then Put the other end cap right here, o-ring, and then the rod through it. And so this gets filled up with SAE 40 oil. So I will do that now. All right, so now it's time to put the oil in here. And there's nothing that says how much to use, so I've got a little measuring cup, and I'm just, it's got a spout, so it's gonna be easier to pour it in there like that. So put my finger over the hole here. Then we just fill it all the way up. There we go. Put it in position. Just like that. Oh, there it is right there. Now we fold it all the way down. Now it's going to put it into it. All right, so I'm able to, I've got the end caps on here, like the way they're supposed to be. I think everything's correct. And then the next thing to do is mount all this on the motorcycle. And then that'll be in the next video, because we got to mount this, and then we got to put the gearbox in here as well. And we're making a bit of progress, so thank you for that. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video on getting my swing arm together on my Norton Commando. Sorry for the slow updates on everything. I've work for a living so you know how it is i've got a child and all those kinds of things so thank you for this make sure you like comment subscribe also feel free to go to check out motohomeless.com and get yourself a t-shirt long sleeve shirt hoodie something like that that helps out the channel thank you